What's going on guys? All right, this is set 13. Uh, I'm going to a new spot that I haven't gone to before. It is uh, January 18th, did a set yesterday uh, at the Comedy Shrine. This one is called Josephine's or some shit. I think it's hosted by the host of Thursday night at the Comedy Shrine. So this is Josephine's in Villa Park, if you've heard of it. Uh, so that's where we're going right now. So new spot, kinda, that makes me a little nervous. I mean, I just did stand up last night, so I'm gonna do like the same set, pretty much. Uh, I'm just gonna rehearse in the car. It's about 45 minutes away. Um, I'm probably gonna change up a couple things, maybe. I'm not sure, we'll see after I like go over, but I'll be focusing on like conspiracy theories, like my uncle and like how, what he thinks of conspiracy theories and shit like that. Uh, the place seems like it's more well lit, so I could probably see everybody in the crowd, so I'm just trying to set myself up for expecting that, because that's something I'm not used to. Whenever I go on stage, if you go uh, to an open mic and you can see somebody who's new at a place with spotlights, we always bring up, oh shit, I can't see any of you, this is so bright, because you don't expect it at all. Like People in the crowd who don't do stand-up have no idea that you can't see anything in the crowd. You can't see anybody. They all look like uh, characters you have to unlock type shit. Um, so, like, you can't see past the second row, for real. It's crazy, but you kind of get used to it, you know? So seeing somebody say, oh, they're bright, you instantly know they're a new, like, or, like brand new comedian. But this place doesn't have spotlights, it seems. It seems like it's more intimate and you can see everybody's face. So I'll, I'll be able to see everybody staring at me, not laughing. We'll see how that goes. Uh, there's some people, it seems like people from the usual place I go to go to this one as well. I've seen pictures online that they post of uh, when they promote to come do the open mic, they post pictures of people there doing stand-up and I, I recognize some of the people. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to practice on the way there. I would show you guys, but that's just like, I can't film myself doing that. That's fucking impossible. Uh, it's just me rehearsing and riffing. Uh, trying to come up with funny things that I'm going to be talking about and shit. Just going over my bullet points. When I get there, I'm going to go over my bullet points a couple of times and shit. You know, I'm, uh, like my anxiety right now is kind of like kicking in a little bit, which is fine. I'm going to try and, uh, you know, just do it anyway because it's like my job, you know. But I'm kind of, I don't know, nervous. But maybe that's a good thing because it's a new place. I don't want to like not go because of the anxiety or something like that. I'm kind of like a little bit disassociating. I did just smoke right before this, but that usually helps. Um, but I think I'll be fine. I just got to, you know, talk about that. I just got to do it yesterday. I just got to do it again. So we'll see how it goes. And they're doing like quiplash or whatever the fuck that's called right now. They do that like 30 minutes before. I'm glad I'm going to be getting there like 10 minutes before they start, because I don't think I would like Quiplash, I think. All right, I appreciate you guys, love you. Here comes the podcast portion of the show, and then after that is the set. Mwah. Penis, penis, okay. Yo, how's it going, guys? This is episode 13, uh, I believe. I think last time I might have got the number wrong, but so it's 13. Uh, first time at a new place. Every single time I've done stand-up so far, it has been at the same place, at the Comedy Shrine in Aurora. This time I did this place called Josephine's. Um, there wasn't that many people there. There were pretty much all comics there. There was like a couple not comics. Um, really not a lot of people at all. So when you watch this, think of like maybe eight people there, I would say, and like the majority of them comics. Um, but I like I liked the room. You know, It felt like I was like in a basement or something. It felt like... Um, like, you know, actually, I kind of did. I've seen most of the people at the other mics, actually. So I kind of knew everybody. But, uh, you know, I've I like talking to people more and stuff. I was doing that while I was there, which is good. Uh, I got one tonight. This is actually a couple of days ago is when I did that uh, set. This isn't like the day after or anything. I like hung out with people after and I could like I drove somebody so I couldn't put the camera in my seat and talk. So I was like, I'll just leave that part out, I guess, for episode 13. I'm sure you're going to be very disappointed. Uh, but yeah, so in the set, uh, the begin, I mean, the ending is like the strongest. So I'm going to like, like start with the strongest 
and work on other stuff I want to work on. But like they really liked the, um, when I said my cousin, like at the end of it, I said my cousin, like to get, if you don't have a conspiracy theory uncle, you can be the conspiracy theory uncle. It goes by generations. And then I talk about like, how oh, it's my uncle, me, and then my cousin and how he has braces. And he's like, the Jews run the banks. And it's that got a pretty, that got a, that laugh felt like, um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory getting the golden ticket with that. And I was like, oh, shit, I didn't know. Okay, I, I hoped that one would work. But all right. I was like, ah, like when you get a, somebody to laugh at something, you're like, this, this is it. I got it. I got, I got, I got the, the ticket. Look at it. It's literally in my hand. Look, you saw it. You heard it. Because um, there's one thing that always gets a laugh is the, uh, if you don't have a conspiracy theory uncle, you need to get one. That one fucking, like, every time has got a laugh. So that one's like staying in permanently type shit. So I guess that's how stand up works. Like if the, if I'm going to be talking about this stuff for um, you know, a minute, you know, that's I'm going to keep trying you have to see if it works everywhere you go. I mean, I guess I've only done two places, but it's been different like crowds and stuff like that. It's worked with like six people, it's worked with like 25 people and, and shit like that. Um Let's see. They like um I like, the, and I also like the Instagram where I describe as Instagram. They laugh at the porn stars, follows me and porn stars. They get to laugh and I'm like, he's following me in porn stars. Oh, his profile picture is a shark with grills. That shit's hilarious and true. The porn stars following porn stars and stuff isn't true, but that, you know, who doesn't? It's probably true. Um, I'm enjoying it. You know, I'm not like. Yesterday I wasn't, or not yesterday, before yesterday I wasn't nervous, but it was a smaller place and I kind of knew everybody, but like, I, w I wonder if like, I guess I'm not nervous because I know I'm not going to like die from it. It's not going to kill me, you know, like, uh, <clears throat> I, the, the feeling that probably never goes away of like, um, the excitement, you know, I, but there's, you know, excitement and nervousness is pretty similar, I would say. Um, but I don't feel like. I'm trying to look at it more of like as a obligation or like, not like a job, but like kind of like a job, I guess it's like, you have to go do it. Like, even if I was like, I told you guys in the beginning of this episode, I believe on the way there, I was feeling anxious and stuff like that prior and like still doing it and going anyway is good. It's really good. Obviously like doing any, like anything, if you don't feel like it, cause you're never going to feel like doing it right. That's motivation, right? You're not, you're never going to be just motivated. 24 seven. You're not going to be motivated. The majority of the time you will not be motivated. It's all about discipline and shit like that. So um, I like the process so far, how I have it, like where I'm just talking it over on the car ride there. Uh, Cause everywhere is like an hour in each direction. Nothing's close type shit. This last place was like 45 minutes away. Um, so I think I'd probably, this is probably, since I'll probably condense it a little bit, eh, let's see, maybe like three minutes right here I have that I like, and I might try and throw in the um, talk about Mount Rushmore, maybe. I'm trying to think of like what else I want to throw in here because I don't know if I want to, or like maybe I could think of another conspiracy, but I, like, I want to talk about like things that happened to me, so like stupid things people have said to me. Um, I could be like most theories are stupid and most people are stupid. Uh, and then that's like, that's just like a segue into, uh, you know, I could instantly like get a quick little laugh. Like when the girl asks if Illinois is in Chicago, that's true. But I got to add a tag to that. I'm going to tag that up. Um, Everything is just needs more. It needs to be punched up. You know, it needs to um, just more, just more jokes. Obviously, um, I think I want to tell. Oh, I still have that. I could. I forgot the. Um, I could do. I like how he's a cop just for the pension and hated helping people. Um, but I, that didn't really get a laugh when I was like, he took all of it and smoked it. For some reason, D like I, because I think that's hilarious, but that hasn't gotten a laugh. Um. Was a cop for a pension sounds like a joke, but it's a fact. Um, hmm. Yeah, I would say probably not have the take it home and smoke it, but I like how that segues into like, it could have been weed or crack. Has anybody here tried crack? I'm like, I would try crack right now. And everybody laughs at that part. I'm like, I will get off this fucking stage if anybody has it. And that gets another little chuckle. 
Uh, but I could probably segue into crack any, any way. <laughs> Never tried crack though, but I would right now. Send it in, mail it. Actually, I don't have a PO box right now, but uh, let's see. I think eventually these are probably going to get like redundant a little bit. I might start adding in, a, like, cause I'm gonna be doing it. I could have done it yesterday, but I was like, I'm gonna take just a break, cause like, that kind of cuts out an hour and a half before you have to go. So you have less of a day. I kind of wake up late. Not really. I mean, we wake up at like 11. So that's not too late. But like when you got to leave at like uh, 6.30 and stuff and you wake up at 11, you know, you fucking eat. You play with the dog for three hours. And then you got to shower, eat, and go. Um, I've been mad consistent with posting videos, posting like uh, making the wine box classic videos. I don't know. I was thinking I was possibly going to film one today, but I don't know if I feel like it. I'm not really sure. I could probably barrel through it and do it, but I think it would be advantageous for me to th sit and think about my comedy and what else I want to talk about. Uh, just like finish up the bullet points, but I don't want to feel pressured to like post a uh, wine box classic video or like film one. I just, I mean, I just posted one today. So and I got stuff like backlogged and like shorts. Actually, I posted one yesterday and I had posted a short of it today. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching. If you guys are watching the videos that I'm posting and all that stuff, that means the world to me. You know, like and share and comment because like YouTube algorithm is punishing me right now for not posting for like the last two years consistently. So I'm going to have to be post. I'll probably have a post every day, like a short or a video. If not, it'll be like every other day type shit. If you want to support, we got ringtones down below. We got patreon.com slash winebox poppy. I got to figure out something for Patreon. I will eventually, but I love you. Here comes the stand up. Uh, I wonder, oh man, YouTube isn't going to like it. There's a naked lady mannequin there right behind me. And I touch its titty and I'm like, mm, fake. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> anyway yeah it was distracting and nice i'm sure you'll stare at it the entire time sorry for the secondhand embarrassment i'm not good yet if i was good this quickly i would be a prodigy it's been 13 times it's gonna i can't wait to see like the i can't wait to compare the first set because i have them all filmed so i'm gonna look back on this so fondly that i did this i'm gonna be so glad i did even though it's painful like just doing it but then watching it and then posting it for people to see. Oh, God, it is. It hurts because I know it's not good. I'm not delusional here. Uh, it's going to get good, though. We're getting there. I can't wait to see, compare the first to the hundredth set. I think that's going to be awesome. And then the thousand. You know what I'm saying? But um, this week I did Monday, Tuesday, and this is Thursday, and I'm going to try and do Sunday. Maybe I'll do Saturday if there's one, but then I'm going to do, I'm definitely going to try and do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week. That's a lot. That's a good time. That's a lot of content. That's a lot of episodes. But if you made it this far, you're a trooper. Well, I already said I love you. I say that a lot to you guys because I do. Bye-bye. Uh, make some noise for your next time with Mark Persky. <laughs>
that's I don't see why that wouldn't why wouldn't you do that? I think more people would do that if that was true. I think they would just have more kids. <laughs> like one to raise and one to graze. Like I don't see <laughs> literally everybody would do it. Every four years you'd have another kid. Uh, does anybody have a favorite conspiracy theory? Like a crazy one? I like hollow earth. Hollow earth? Like what's it's just so is there anything in the earth? Like monsters and cities and stuff. Holy shit, I'm gonna have to look into that one. Is there any porn about that? Yeah, there's about to be. <laughs> I'll draw it, I'll make it. But um, I think most like conspiracy theories are kind of like mental masturbation. It's like nothing's gonna happen from you solving this. Like my uncle thinks 5G causes cancer. He's fucking positive of it. And if, you, I, like, if you don't have a conspiracy theory uncle, you need to get one. <laughs> it's so important. Uh, like he, they all have brand new phones, you know? And like, what, what's he gonna do with all this information of these uh, conspiracy theories? Just like post it on Instagram? He doesn't have any followers and follows just me and porn stars. <laughs> His profile picture is a shark with gold grills. <laughs> he knows all the secrets, okay? He used to be a fucking cop with a gun. He would pull people over. He would have authority. Uh, he literally believes that aliens are working with the government right now to host a fake alien invasion to help control the population. And he does not believe in Sandy Hook. At all. He doesn't think anything happened. He learned that on Thanksgiving. That was quite, quite a bit to unpack. It's hard to explain that to my grandma, Rose, what that means. What do you mean the kids didn't die? Oh. Should have dived into that crime. <laughs> but uh, if you don't have like a conspiracy theory uncle, you could start it. That goes by generations, right? So like on my uncle, then it goes to me. Now his son is already 16, and he's like has braces, and he's like the Jews run the banks, and <laughs> he's he's doing good. Good start, and that's all I got. Thank you. I'm Mark Arsky. <laughs>